Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, February 14, 2014. This week, backing stamps in Photoshop and Elements. Some brushes and stamps are designed with transparent windows that allow the layer below to peek through. So if you place one of these stamps on a photo, you'll be able to see your photo through the holes. Or if you place the stamp on a background paper, you'll see the paper through the holes. On occasion, you may want to create a backing for these types of stamps so that you can choose a color to show through instead of seeing the photo or the paper or the layer below. Here's how to make a backing for a stamp. Begin by opening the stamp image in Photoshop or Elements, or stamp the image on a new transparent document or layer. Get the custom shape tool by pressing the letter U on your keyboard. In some versions, you may need to press U several times to find the Custom Shape tool, or just find the Custom Shape tool that's hidden under the Rectangle tool near the bottom of the tool bin. In the full version of Photoshop, make the following choices in the Options bar. Choose Shape. Under Fill, choose a color that contrasts with your image. Under Stroke, choose None. Then over here, choose New Layer, Align to Selection, Unconstrained, and then next to the Shape Picker, choose the shape that will fill the transparent portion of the image. In Elements, make the following choices in the Options bar. This will either be located at the top or the bottom of your editing window, depending on your software. Under Shape, choose Custom. Under the Shape Picker window, you're going to choose a shape that will fill the transparent sections of the image. If you don't see one, come up here to Shapes and choose All Element Shapes to see all of your choices. Leave the default style at None. Under Color, choose a color that will contrast with your image. And then choose Unconstrained and create a new shape layer. After you've made the selections, move your cursor to the document and click while you draw out the shape. If a check mark appears, go ahead and tick it to confirm the shape. Switch to the Move tool and click on the shape. Use the Transform controls here on the bounding box to alter the shape so that it covers only the sections that you want to back. Again, tick the check mark in the Options bar or below the image to confirm the change. Now look over in the Layers panel at the bottom right side of your screen. Drag the shape layer below the stamp layer. Now you'll see that the color you selected is peeking through those transparent holes instead of on top of the image. If you can't see the Layers panel, choose Window Layers. This will activate the Layers panel so that you can see what you're doing. To change the color, simply double click the Shape thumbnail in the Layers panel and select a new color from the Color Picker window and then click OK. You can use the shape as a clipping mask to clip a piece of digital paper or a contrasting image if you wish. This allows you to create more contrast if your page design calls for it. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.